Dear me. Dear me. Dear me. Dear me. Now listen closely. I'm gonna give you a little advice for some things you might need to know later on. If you don't know who I am, I am from your future. Happy first day at school. The whole 10 years at this school is very interesting. Get ready for the best years of your life. There are new things you will learn every day, and every day a new adventure will be waiting for you. School will be a lot of fun. You will make a lot of memories with all the friends you make. You will become really nervous about school, but once you settle in, you will love it. Be sure to make good first impressions because you're going to be with the people around you for the next 10 years. Become friends with everyone. Don't be afraid to be social. Everybody is really nice and friendly and will help you with everything. Try and talk to the new kids because most of them turn out to be pretty cool. St. Teresa's is a roller coaster of a place. It has all sorts of ups and downs. Don't stress, it's not as scary as it seems. I know you're scared and nervous of what the teachers will be like and how you'll fit in, but just remember you will make friends. You will make friendships with the most random people that you will just come to love. You are very lucky to be where you currently are. You are lucky to attend school at St. Teresa and you are lucky to be surrounded by great friends who make a spectacular community. Enjoy pre-K while it lasts, because you will never get nap time again. I'm just telling you, kindergarten is awesome. Pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade are the best. Have fun in those grades. The first couple of years are easy, with little schoolwork and lots of fun activities. I think you'll like it. First grade was a good year. You get to make bird feeders, look for fossils, and make gingerbread houses. After first grade, you will enter the prime of your life, second and third grade, Savor these two wonderful years with two of the best teachers at St. Teresa's. Your friends are great and life is good. Third grade will be awesome. The teachers are the best and the yoga balls are pretty great. In third grade, you have a very fun teacher, Miss Rates, and have an amazing year. You sit next to a kid named Steven who skins cucumbers during snack time and later becomes one of your best friends. You will also go through weird phases like being obsessed with warrior cats. Trust me, that was the time to be alive. In fourth grade, be sure to just be yourself and do what you're supposed to do. Savor this year while you can. In fourth grade, the Texas play is super fun. You get to go on fun field trips. In fifth grade, you get to go to Starbase for a whole week. Going from fifth to sixth grade will seem like a lot, but you'll adjust quickly. No need to worry, though. That's when you leave elementary school and head into middle school. When you get to middle school, there's a lot of things you need to know. Because when middle school comes, your time is taken up with studying and homework. Turn in all your homework on time and study really hard in sixth grade. It's the easiest. Make sure you enjoy every second of sixth grade, especially math class. And always say, yes, Mr. Steinhardt. Yes, Mr. Steinhardt. Sixth grade will be one of your favorite years because you get to switch classes a lot and you will feel so much older. In sixth grade, the best video game Fortnite comes out and you and the boys start playing and can't stop. Don't stay up too late playing, but good memories will be made in the middle of the night on Fortnite and FaceTime. As you go into seventh, that's when you can start complaining. The workload grows, people become different, and that's the awkward year of being right above sixth and right below eighth. In seventh grade, make sure not to stress so much about the workload. The best field trip is the Port Aransas trip in seventh grade. The field trip is amazing and you make a lot of great memories. When seventh grade ends, you only have number days left at St. Teresa's. Eighth grade is 100% the best grade at St. Teresa's. In eighth grade, you'll go on a trip to the Pines. It's really fun and the chili is amazing. By the time you get to eighth grade, you're gonna be ready to leave. But as the year goes on, you're gonna wish you could stay with these people forever. As eighth grade comes to an end, it gets sad. You realize you may never see some of the people you have the best memories with again, but you have to grow up and move along. That is just the way life goes. It will get harder. There is no sugarcoating it. There will be homework, studying, tests, and projects. The teachers will feel like a pain, but remember, they are there to help you. They want you to succeed in life. That's why they push you so hard. You also have to respect your teachers and listen to them. Teachers are very nice if you are nice back, but teachers' jokes are really bad. When Senora Colom says, muy facil, that probably means it's really hard. Try to focus in Spanish because it gets a lot harder and Senora Colom is a good teacher if you listen to her. You will love math class. Mr. Wendling is super nice. The teachers are nice, especially Mr. Moore. Miss Taylor and Miss Sperlin will show you how good things can really be when you try. They're super nice and thoughtful. 
Now for social studies. Mr. Frost, very, very scary, but nice. Just remember to read through the chapter, make a good study guide, and study, study, study. Social studies. Mr. Frost, study so much. That is the only way to pass seventh grade. As funny as it may seem, Mr. Frost will grow to be your favorite teacher. Make sure you thank your teachers for preparing you throughout the years, especially your middle school teachers who helped you prepare for high school. Be sure to let your teachers know that you love and appreciate them, even if you don't always act like it. <laughs> your family, teachers, friends, and everyone who cares about you will always be there to help you. This school will make your relationship with your parents stronger than it already was. They will always be there for you no matter what. Back at home, make sure to unload the dishwasher and set the table when mom asks. This will lead to greater privileges in your future. Help your parents more because parenting is a hard job and they need the help. When mom asks you to do something, just do it and don't complain. You'll get in trouble a lot, but don't bother trying to make up an excuse. Mom won't let that happen. You're going to face many challenges. Be nice to your parents and get hugs whenever you can. The best piece of advice I can give you is don't procrastinate. It doesn't make anything better and the work will still be there and you still have to do it. Do not procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. Trust me on this one. Procrastination is not as fun as you initially think. Time management will come in handy. Spending a little more time on work rather than scrolling through your phone will really have an impact on your grades. In class, stay on task and use your time wisely because that will save you a lot of sleep. Go to bed early in middle school. People will talk about how late they stay up, but just go to bed. As you get older, you will soon realize that you don't have to care about what other people think or what they say because everyone changes just like you will. Try to focus on the good, not the bad, and take your friends for who they are, not who you want them to be. Remember, just be happy and don't focus on mistakes. Learn from your teachers, learn from your classmates, and learn from your mistakes. It will save you a lot. Try not to get so worried about small things, because one little mistake won't ruin everything. You have to learn to enjoy the present and not worry about the future. My way of thinking about it is to go with the flow. If you're a rubber ducky sitting in the river, you can only go one way. That's the way it flows. I think the most important thing I can tell you is to appreciate everything that's going to happen to you. When you leave St. Teresa's, you will realize how much you will really miss it. Keep your friends close. When you are in 8th grade, you will all go your separate ways and it will be sad. Keep in touch with them because it would be horrible to lose some of your closest friends. Things come and go, but this is something you will truly remember forever. SDCS will be like a second home. You will have the best memories here, but you will eventually have to say goodbye. You'll be scared you won't make any friends in high school, but keep in mind you are unique and amazing. Stay true to yourself and always be kind and cheerful. I hope you have a pretty good time and make good life decisions. Good luck with your life. It turns out to be pretty good. Most importantly, just have fun. Have a good time. You'll be fine. Anyways, good luck. Maybe I'll see you in the future. Who knows? The world is crazy. Good luck. From your future self. Your future self. Future you. Your future self. Me. Sincerely, me. 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 From me. Your friend. Me. 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 This school is your heart and soul, and it will define your life. So enjoy your first day of school. You have a lot to look forward to. What would happen? If we try, could we spread our wings and learn to fly? And together we could see that the world is ours. We can shine like stars. We can do Dream. Yeah.
天。